Okay, I ask this uh, lovely question on my thoughts uh, around not being the body. Um, it's got to be to let go of the identification with the body, um, a few things. I mean, uh, one was I've had a lot of uh, what I call mystical experiences, uh, which have last seemed to have lasted short periods and long time periods and various uh, degrees of uh, beautiful spiritual experiences, shall we say. Um, and uh, so I'm not, but you know, uh, all of these, uh, you know, the deep, I mean, it's basically what uh, Dr. David R. Hawkins, one of my spiritual teachers said, the more you go into these fields of the infinite and you start to connect to the love and peace, which is beyond uh, all identifications to this world, uh, you, there becomes uh, a knowingness that chasing happiness in external things is only going to give limited relief from uh, discovering something far deeper and more long lasting than just chasing the temporary pleasures of, of this world, even though there's, I've got nothing against that if people want to do that. Um, so the body and, and the, the, the core thing, which is uh, if you do your own spiritual practice, whether it be self inquiry and the observer, whether it be 12 steps, whether it be, um, whether it be A Course in Miracles, and you, you ferociously do those, I would suggest if you wanna go into high levels of spiritual contact in 12 steps, focus on step 11 and being of service and out of, out of the bondage of your own personal thinking, that will be a one way of getting very into good spiritual states. If you're doing The Course in Miracles, do the lessons with ferocity uh, and continuously, um, even the first few lessons, all my thoughts are meaningless hold no special thought and dissolve it uh, completely. Um, and, uh, and then um, self-inquiry, keep going to the observer of thoughts and body and all urges and all feelings that arise in consciousness and uh, until they, are, they release and vanish, keep observing until they drop away. So whichever method you do or a mix of the methods, um, it's very clear from my experience and I think other, uh, uh, other, um, shall we say, teachers would, uh, would agree that um, when there's personal identification uh, with anything, it sucks away, it takes away from those infinite experiences. So the more I get attached and hooked in and enmeshed in my thoughts, in, the, in my body as being what I am, in, uh, in various addictions in the world, then the more this sense of personal self or a me or a self, you know, it, they all come together. You know, at extreme levels of addictions, it's like I, I really am sucked into my body very strongly. My thoughts are going at 100 miles an hour. I, I'm sort of uh, mired in addictions and distractions and fear and guilt. So they all go together. There's like the highly, highly identified, strong ego state. And as you start to do the spiritual work to let go of the repressed feelings, stop the addiction, stop the addiction to thoughts, start to put down various things and go through withdrawal, then you start to get these, um, what I call less identified states. The thoughts become much more pleasant and less often. Uh, there seems to be much greater moments of presence and happiness and freedom. Those uh, urges, those huge tremendous fears and cravings for things in the world, uh, they become less dramatic. So as you're doing the spiritual work, you're letting go. Now, depending on how you do your spiritual work in which particular spiritual method, you'll be working on letting go, you could say, or surrendering, whichever spiritual discipline you're using, various, um, various identifications like the body as being important, the thoughts, the beliefs, the fears, the resentments, um, the idea of a personal self, the idea of the personal ego self being the thing that will take care of me, that there's nothing greater than that. So you'll be working on releasing a lot of these core identifications. Uh, if you just let go of a lot of your, your resentments, fears, those thoughts that you hold in mind about controlling the world, attractions and aversions, then um, you will start to get more free. But uh, the more, uh, you know, um, like the Course in Miracles and like um, uh, self-inquiry, uh, or the observer, uh, it is realized at advanced levels that you've got to let go of the identification with the body. 
because it sucks in so much energy which blocks you off from the infinite you know it's like it's it's a major unconscious core belief to be fixated and identified with the body and then want pleasures or avoid pains because the body is is you know you as you as you latch on to your belief systems and onto the body you become subject to all the all the um the human stuff you know like the pleasure for ice cream and wanting to not wanting not to suffer financial problems or health problems so you you become more subject to the collective belief systems and the what i call the collective uh, programming of 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 humanity so so you want to be uh, if you start letting go of those you start to be not subject to you know the shared belief systems and the shared bondages versions and attractions of humanity and you start to transcend that into states which go beyond the, the normal collective ego states uh, um, that are shared in various places so so like the course says i'm not a body i'm free for i as god created me or being the observer uh, um, and i was actually gonna i mean someone was asking me in a food program about transcending body obsessions so i was going to do a video on that but might as well stick it in here and um so be the witnesser the detached witness of the body like you know when you start doing the observer you notice that everything is an object so what observes the object if there's a table is the observer of the table restricted by the dimensions of the table no it's an object out there which is witnessed so then become aware of the body it's actually an object so what's observing or witnessing it is this something that's not is that's witnessing the body that's not identified or attached to it? So as you do that, as I've done for many years, you start to have no experience of body. I mean, for myself, uh, I would say most of the time there's no experience of body. Every now and then, if someone steps on my foot or if I get ill or something, uh, there can be um, no experience of the body. But generally speaking, if well, there's no experience of the body. So you can just, it's actually a bad habit of just sucking in so much energy, being so preoccupied. It's an unconscious habit, being uh, fixated into the shape of the body. And personal thoughts are another huge sort of energy drain, latching on to my thoughts and my body. A lot of this is unconscious. So if you do like a cancel my belief for God did not create it, uh, you'll start to undo that un unconscious addiction to just being sucked, it sucks in and takes away a lot of the energy. So those are the ways I'd let go of it. Um, or you could say, as I would say, I paraphrase Hawkins and ACI, and, um, you know, you're going to get more miracles when you're not, when you're, when you're in the infinite than when you're latched on to your personal thinking and your body and it's the enslaved uh, belief systems that it holds because in that infinite freedom, that's the source of all potentiality. Uh, when you're constricted by your limited thoughts and you're sucked into your limited body and sort of um, entrapped by the collective consciousness limited beliefs uh, you're limited in what can happen um, i mean i think that's relatively straightforward okay so let me stop there um, so